wait for it. Ah, so it is working. Oh, all right, so let's give a test here. How is the audio and how is the game running? I know I'm just sitting here at the menu, but just want to give it a double check. We've been having some technical difficulties getting this to run tonight, and Ruffle had to be called in for uh, technical support. So we had to run through and try a whole plethora of different things to get it to work. However, my name is Selfus. I'm standing in for Ruffle tonight. Man's been working himself near to death, and amidst the outbreak and everything else that's going on, it's a stressful time for everybody, and uh, so, yeah, I kind of figured... Why not try something completely different? We're going into the realm of the X3 series. Now, I'm new to this. I've never played a single X3 game. Uh, in fact, Raffle picked this up for me as a gift for a birthday. Um, I want to say last year, maybe the year before that. And I have a backlog of games. So, finally working my way through it to see, oh well, what's the X3 series? What is it? And I love space games, I love uh, role-playing games, things like that, so... Yeah, I, I'll start off with the intro. I'm going to shut up doing it. I always do this during cutscenes. We'll start off the tutorial, and we'll continue from there. By the way, if there are any issues with the audio of the game itself, or if you're having difficulty hearing me, uh, let me know, and I'll pause and adjust. Yes, I'm not playing this on a controller. Oh, wow, that was an informative intro. Wow. Fascinating. Uh, I don't know what the hell that was, but let's try that again. Okay, you don't get to have an intro. Uh, only I get to have an intro, apparently. So, uh, I didn't pay attention to the intro. I jumped straight into the menu to try and get it to work. Yeah, Raffle, it is running, in fact. Um, not sure how well, though, so need you to kind of guide me here. How's the audio? How's the visual? Everything working out all right? Yeah, and strangely enough, uh, updated OBS Studio, uh, ran the auto configuration tool, input the new code, build attached to it, and here we are. Also, I don't know why, but the tutorial, sorry, the introduction to the game is broken. It just doesn't want to stream it for anyone, so I can't show you that. However, moving away from the technical difficulties and things we're working on, we're just going to go ahead and start a new game. So these are apparently pre-mades that you can go with. We have Aaron Lovis, or Iovis, I'm not sure if that's an L or an I. Aaron, like you and I. Female, 26, normal difficulty, defend the soul system from alien threats, use your advanced combat training. <laughs> I don't even know how to fly, let alone combat fly. Survive in an unforgiving new universe and find both friend and foe within the Commonwealth. I don't know what the Commonwealth is. Argon Patriot. Kill Island, who's a different species from human? Uh, it looks... Human. I mean, aside from the eyes glowing a little green a little bit, or that could just be a trick of the overlay, I'm not too sure. Age 28, normal. You serve in the Argon military, protecting the Argon race from enemies near and far. Well, also, cool idea, but without knowing how combat works in this game, I'm really not confident to hop in and be like, I'm an ace fighter pilot, watch this. No idea. Humble merchant. Hari Ghul Argon, male, 24. Difficulty, not all that hard. I'm getting the feeling that's this game's equivalent of, I'm too young to die! Leverage your business skills to master and dominate the trade lanes. Amass the ultimate fortune and spread the fingers of your empire to the far reaches of the stars. Uh, fun fact, you want to play a pre-made. Basically, I'll have a story mission, give you an idea of how to play and stuff to do. Otherwise, you're dropped into a sandbox. Uh, yeah, I will definitely take... Let's just run through and see what our options are before we start to... Whoa. Okay, I'm digging the 90s biker aesthetic. Uh, Orin Rock and Argon. By the way, 
uh, someone who's more versed in X3, can, can someone tell me what the difference is between these look exactly like a human, argon, human thing is? 22 female, difficulty, most assuredly hard. Your combat skills are formidable, but your bank account is not. Your capacity for destruction is your only tool for clawing your way above the rest of this world's petty scum. Yeah, definitely not doing that one. The nostalgic Argon. Brant Kurt. He's an Argon. Male. 42. Difficulty. Normal. After several years of lackluster trading, you give it all up to relive the glory days. Setting off in the Argon homeworld, you have little more than a basic ship and a thirst for adventure. Okay, uh... I mean... Whoa, wait, what? Dead is dead? Alright, we'll get to that one in a second. Alright, that sounds like it'll probably be the starting point. Seems... Difficulty normal, a little bit easier to get into. Suicidal Squid, Lard Nemanaus. He's a species called the Boron. Uh, 12? Depending on how long they live, this is insane. Dead is dead. Warning, this game mode is very dangerous. Whatever you do, you can't undo it. Dead is dead. Proceed at your own risk. Requires a connection to Steam. Why? So that when you die horribly, it can give you an achievo or something. Alright, well, we're going to definitely be ignoring the suicidal squid, the bankrupt assassin, because that is just not okay. Oh, suicidal squid's permadeath. I can't save at all. Alright, that's pretty fair. Uh, yeah, I'm not a pilot. Well, I want to be a pilot, but I don't know how to fight, so I'm going to ignore this, this. Mm. I don't feel that not all that hard is the right way to play on this game level. Mm. Alright, so. Uh, not secret stream, Fox. It's more a matter of we're fighting to get this thing to work properly, and if we can, we'll stream it. If we couldn't, this would have gone completely unknown. Nostalgic Argon or the Humble Merchant. They're both Argons, they're both male. The only difference is one's half the age of the other, and the difficulty level is piss versus normal. Alright, we'll pick this guy. It suddenly struck me that that tiny pea, pretty and blue, was the Earth. I put up my thumb and shut one eye. My thumb blotted out the planet Earth. I didn't feel like a giant, I felt very, very small. By the way, we're playing this on keyboard and mouse. I did not realize this would be integrated with the Xbox controller, so we'll see Argon, if that works. Flight School, Nova. Okay. Hi, Nova. Contact the highlighted ship. Oh. Uh, hmm. Info? When the long-serving Argon Elite was retired, the Argon military was left without an M3 fighter until a group of shipwrights in Omricon Lyri put forward plans for a new type of ship. Shortly afterwards, the Nova was born, and after two years of testing, virtually all of the older Elite-class ships had been replaced by this new craft. Wow, this is information overload. I mean, really cool that our AI companion is really up on her game. Brain scanner not involved, laser bay missiles. Okay, apparently my ship is uh, unable to scan. That is a lot of missiles that you can put onto something. Damn. Hey, Raffle, I'm uh, starting to feel like I might have stepped in a little bit over my head. What do you think? Anyway, we're supposed to contact him. I'm guessing comms? Is there something I can help you with? Oh, cool. His little head pops up there. Uh, what are you offering? Would you like to learn the basics of flying? Yes, I would like to learn the basics of flying. Good. If you want to stop at any time, then just tell me. You can contact me menu. Let's cover the basics first. Movement. Mm -hmm. right. Accelerate to 10 meters per second by pressing the acceleration key. Alright. W makes me go up. Oh, X is accelerating. That's different. 
Now slow down. Oh, Z is slowing down. Okay. If you hold the decelerate button, you will reverse. Oh reverse yeah, negative ten meters a second. Meters second. Oh, he wants negative five. Good, you've got it. Yeah, I've got it. Move towards my ship. Okay, X. No. Z? What? No, X. That's go fast. There we go. Uh, he is five kilometers out. Orange arrows point to your current objective. Okay, so W is to shift left, D, or A is shift left, D is shift right. W is to go up, S is to go down. Interesting. Yeah, Rumpel, I'm, I'm definitely seeing the need for this tutorial. Uh, how do you free look? Because, I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff around here I want to check out. Image recognition. Production complex. Alpha. Okay, to request docking permission, select comms. Well, I'm not gonna Argon, dock with Flight anything. School, Nova. Let's not push our luck with this one. Hey, Sungive, how's it going? I have to say, the music in this is actually quite fascinating. I like it. Ah, excellent to hear. Staying safe out there. Oh crap, the other guy's ship is gonna get away. Hold on. Slow, slow, slow. Go left. Alright. Oh, I can just gonna... Whoa! Okay. Collision, collision. No. Oh, I can left click and hold. That's a shot. That better have been an accident. It was. When the long Wrong button. Argon Shit. Comms, comms, comms. Is there something I can help you with? Hello? That's the way. This is a main form of interaction with objects. You can command ships, request docking permissions, or ask for directions by opening up the communication menu. Okay. Try docking at this station. The Argon, Argon Equipment, equipment Dock. dock. Yes, thank you. Oh, I can pitch left and right with uh, Q and E. That's cool. You know, I'm really digging the method of control where I just kind of left click and pan. I mean, this feels more organic for flying. You are talking to the automated interaction system. No, I am not, because I'm not anywhere close enough to dock yet. I'm kind of slow. Let's speed this up a bit. Angling in. Actually. Argon space equipment docks are the locations in Argon territory for upgrading space vehicles. Okay, cool. I like it. Wait, is that it, or is this whole thing it? I think it's down here they're wanting me to go to. Uh, you are comms. talking to the automated interaction system. Request Make positive. To Please dock as soon as you get green position lights. That's oh, a green light, all right. Okay, I need to slow down, apparently. Whoops. Nope, not speed up. All right, Z, slow down. 20 meters a second should be pretty good. There we go. Whoa. This is cool. Uh, oh, okay. Successfully docked. You are now On part of the station. Our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Oh. At stations, you will be able to trade goods. Look for missions and upgrade ships. Now undock from the station. Ah, uh, but there's there's things to do. I, I'm curious. Like, what can I trade? Oh, I can't afford this any is of this. Special ammunition for use in the mass driver. Each projectile is a self-contained unit consisting of mm. the projectile itself, 
and a small armor-piercing shell. The shells are encased in a unique crystalline matrix, allowing them to pass through ship shields unhindered by producing a tiny spatial distortion using the shield's own energy. This pack contains 200 rounds. Ooh. I mean, I, I'm really getting blown away here by how awesome the uh, AI for this is. Like, actually willing to step in and explain whatever the hell I click on. Very cool. Uh, since I can't afford anything except maybe a mobile drilling system and a mosquito missile, which sounds really piss terrible, we're going to ignore that. Also a shield. We'll come back and do this later. So he wanted me to undock from the station. Also, please don't mind the police helicopter flying somewhere outside. I hope the auto doesn't pick that up, but if it does, my bad. Uh, let's see. Uh, undock. 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 Ah! Let's try some combat runs. Move towards my ship. Uh, where is your ship? Oh, there you are. Weapon Component Factory. Let's of not. Argon. Flight School. Nova. Okay. Closing in. Let's speed up a little bit here. Oh, and uh, Ruffle, yes. I, I picked the 42-year-old uh, Argon. No. Yes. Argon Trader. The difficulty is normal, not the one that's at really super easy low level. Oh, uh, speaking of low level, uh, this is my first time ever playing through this, so for any of you experts of the X3 series, uh, I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to make mistakes, I'm going to screw up, it's going to happen, so uh, by all means, if you see catastrophe looming on the horizon and need to kind of go like, hey Zell, uh, you're going to start an interstellar war, kind of pull you aside by the elbow and go, shh, don't do that. Alright, well, we're going to speed up here because he's just hauling ass and getting away from us, so let's go faster. When the long survey... Ooh, wrong one. Hi. Alright, let's see. Autopilot follow. That could be useful. Uh, 900 meters. Okay, we can slow, start slowing down now. I think so, anyway. And the range is opening again. All right, we're just going to speed up again. Let's see. TC has more stories, except people don't play these kinds of games. Virgin starts always the strongest having money, lets you make money. I've injected things. another crate close by. Try shooting it. Oh. Who wants my ship? Okay, that's cool. Uh, I've ejected another crate close by. You can use missiles too. Target the crate. Select a missile and launch. Debris. Uh, M for missile. Mosquito missile installed. Okay, we're gonna have to wing around for this one. And that launch missile is L. Let's try to target it. Okay. Look at your shield indicator. If oh, bottom of your shields will reduce. Once your shield energy is depleted, your hull will start to take damage. Shields will regenerate automatically. Hull will not. Be careful, as there are some weapons which are designed to bypass shields, lower shields, or disrupt systems. Well done. I think you have the basics. You will pick up the rest as you go. Um... No. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on there, Chief. You're, you're not going to just throw me off the deep end in the middle of all of this and just say, go ahead. Well, now what the hell am I supposed to do? Like, you'll figure out the rest as you go along. Uh... I could use more of a pointer than that for a tutorial. This game looks gorgeous. Can I click on the planet? No, I cannot. Can I click on the moon? No, I cannot. That's a skybox, apparently. What's this? The wall. The wall. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Oh! We have a sector map. That's useful. 
That is a lot of stuff, though. Okay. What's this button? Oh, I can have property. Your buster. Y you know, I'm getting the idea that buster might have been a bad translation unless the starter ships in this game are just called busters, in which case, that's even funnier. That thing's a busted piece of shit. Why the hell are you still flying that? That's all I could afford. I can own a station. I can own entire wings. Hopefully that's not like, you know, pilot's wings. They actually mean a wing of ships. I can own a sector. Wait. I own Argon Prime? Excuse me? Hey, I'm a lord of a planet who's flying around on a buster. I don't think that's right. Ships. So I've got one. I've hired no one. Options. Okay, interesting. I close that before I break something. I shouldn't. Okay, there's Argon Prime. It's as far as I can zoom. Oh, come on, go back. Let's see. Bathed in the sacred light of the sun, Sonra, the Argon home system is dominated by the planet Argon Prime. This rich and beautiful world is densely populated and is usually protected by a large Argon military force. A Titan destroyer, and more recently, the Argon's latest flagship carrier, the Argon One, a Colossus class carrier. Most of the needs of the Argon Space Fleet are catered for here in the orbiting shipyards that also outfit private fighters and transport ships with Argon technology. Okay. This is a lot more fleshed out than I thought it would be, but I can appreciate a lot of depth and detail in the storytelling and universe building. What's this button? Current ship. The Argon Buster was... Oh, we heard about that. It's a piece of crap. Um, autopilot freight. I have freight? I have an MJ shield, impulse ray emitter, boost extension, singularity engine time accelerator, very interesting way of saying warp drive. Okay, I'm going to close that. Although this is intriguing because this means that even with us having freight space, we're having to store components as weight on the ship chassis, which is a nice little bit of realism I can appreciate. Hmm. Today's coffee break is brought to you by Donut House. Let's see. Uh, this is the map. What's this button? Does nothing. Eject from the ship. Let's not touch that button. Audio design. Okay, so that's the menu menu. Huh. Now, how do I tell what the market value is for anything? E? No. Advanced satellite factory. Zelvis has restarting as the Terran Defender. We'll start you in a series of story missions. The humble merchant is more so dropped into the sandbox experience. You need to hunt out missions. Ah, very good. All right. Well, we did the tutorial, and we got the Achievo that popped up. I don't know if you all saw that, but nice. All right. You got a raffle. Let's, let's go ahead. I'm going to follow your advice, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Quit game. Are you sure you want to quit? Yeah, but I just want to go to the menu, not leave the entire game. Before we do that, are you sure you want to... Yes. I want to see what happens. Oh! You don't... Oh! Okay, you don't get expelled violently out of your ship as if you were, you know, ejecting out of a... Ooh! Wait, con what the hell's control? I have a laser for... Oh! Okay, okay, come on. Argon equipment. I don't give a shit about that, come on. Not go forward? Yes, I can. I have EVA thrusters. How cool is that? Alright, so let's get a look at this thing. 
So, I really did think we were going to get ejected out of that at Mach 5, but that was not what happened, surprisingly. Oh, we're going to hit! Uh, clipped a little bit, but we're alive. Okay, gravity and momentum here. Oh. Don't care. Okay. I mean, that is cool. Anyway, this is getting boring for someone who's just watching this. Quick game, are you sure? Yes. Back to the menu. Very good. self it's a repair laser. You literally evac a little man into space suit with a welder. <laughs> I love that idea. Man, shit's broke. What do we got to fix it? Uh, I've got a crescent wrench and a welder. That'll be good enough. New game. Terran Defender. So instead of playing as the humble Brant Kurt. We'll be starting off as Aaron Lovis, or Iovis. We still haven't figured out if that's her name. It's suddenly... Oh, that's right. So, you already see me get shot down? Because I am. Please tell me we start with something other than a buster. I can't take a ship seriously named a buster. Sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Terran Flight School Saber. Contact a pilot. Ship to contact your flight instructor. Is there something I can help you with? Yes, you're not showing up on my little display here. Hello. Would you like to learn the basics of flying? Okay, come back later if you change your mind. Uh. Well, we just did flight school. Do I have to do it again? Is there something I can <laughs> help you with? Yeah, sure, why not? Hello? Good. If you want to stop at any time, then just tell me. You can contact me through the comm menu. I have Let's no cover control the basics my first. Ship. Movement. Accelerate to 10 meters per second by pressing the acceleration key. I'm pretty sure you said 242 meters a second, but I could now be slow wrong. down. Okay. By the way, whatever this saber is, it hauls ass. If you hold the decelerate button, you will reverse. Reverse to minus five meters per second. All right, back to minus five, Got six, it. You've six will do it. Still weird, getting used to seeing Move small towards my ship. fast. Duster Buster. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Sungi. If that sounds like all, sounds exactly like I brand for a. For a vacuum. All right, slow down, slow down. Speed up. It's weird getting used to the new HUD. All right, slow. I also like the visual distortion as if we're flying through the rings debris. Come on, get to him. Oh, he's speeding away from me. Come here, you little shit. Very good. I have ejected a crate. It's next to me. Try to target it. Where is this crane? It didn't appear next to you. Oh, what? What? That better not be. Very the... good. Okay. Now target me and open the communication menu. Say if I have to fly way back there. This lieutenant plans a USC. Your group of trial assignment today. Come join us when you're ready. I also like the voice acting in this. Makes me think they're German, or at least Northern European. Is oh. there something I can help you with? Yes, you can tell me where the hell the target is. Uh, is there something I can help you with? That's the way. This is a main form of interaction with objects. Is there something I can help you with? Nope, just get on with it. Ooh. Yeah, come on, back on target. Try docking at this station. The orbital, orbital defense, defense station. station. So if you're gonna do the talking for me, I don't have to. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make positive, please dock as soon as you get green position lights. Alright, good night. There. 
you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think we might have to get a joystick or an Xbox controller for this because this is just ooh, jerky. I'm trying to click and move things because every time I click to grab it and physically move us, I end up clicking on other stuff. So that's that's gonna get boring and really old real fast. Let's see, all right, yep, that. That's going to be annoying as hell. All right, slow down. Wait, still slow down? All right. 20 meters a second, I guess. Boom. Also, I really hope that that is on this side of the docking arm, or otherwise I'm going to collapse into the station here. Oh, that is not acceptable. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the wrong place. Let's not do this. Alright, well, where the hell is the docking collar? Oh, it's way over here. That explains the problem. Soft is German. Interesting. Ah, oh, there are the running lights. Perfect. Yes, ATC, I know I'm coming in a little too hot. That's okay. I'm a bit of ways off. Yeah, slow down. 50 meters should be good. Yeah, they're not upset with 50 meters, that's okay. Alright, 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 alright. We're here. Successfully docked. Welcome aboard this Terran station. Connection to local trading network. Hey, you don't have to say it so sassy like. Welcome to this Terran station. Hey. We got the At home stations, team advantage. You will be able to trade goods. Look for missions and upgrade ships. Now undock from the station. Right. Let's try some combat runs. Move towards my ship. Good name for a ship, a Saber. Where is our friendly flight instructor? Oh, he's way the hell up there. All right. Let's put the, let's put Where the engines into the red. I'm going to. Terran flight you. school Saber. I like how he gets mad. He sent me all the way over here to dock with the station. Where are you going? Sh shouldn't you know? You're the instructor. But to be fair, the flight school, like, apparently, it looks like ships follow their own predetermined course and they do their own thing, even if you're in the middle of a mission. So they'll have their own patrol routes, trade runs, uh, holding patterns, that kind of thing. I could be wrong. Again, we've only been playing this game for, what, 10, 15 minutes total? Let's see. Okay, that's not it. Uh, oh! Oh, that's nice. Well, that's not, though. Whoa, okay. Ah! So that's what we're flying. Oh, that is really cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to our little starter craft. A pair of guns mounted to huge engines. I can dig it. So, thank you, Raffle, for determining how to change the camera. Alright, he's still two kilometers and change away. These backdrops are just gorgeous, though. All right, we're getting a little too close. Let's slow down. I've ejected another crate close by. Try shooting it. That's over here. Debris. Uh, close by. 18 kilometers off. Okay. 
Uh, I, I'm just gonna go for a missile lock. I, I don't want to go all the way over there. You're kidding, right? Okay, well, uh, someone poke Raffle, or if someone knows how to do a quick micro warp jump or something analogous to that, uh, we're speeding along though. 11, 10. Alright, it's not so bad we have to take an intermission break, but, uh,. I like how the merchant one's like, oh yeah, here, just take this and shoot it, it'll be fine. And this one, it's like, alright, you're gonna have to go for some long duration flights. Also, it's kind of cool how the projectiles follow the mouse on your screen. Oh yeah, I definitely need Raffle's help. Raffle apparently plays, has played this in the past. I'm, I'm playing this for the first time tonight. So, it's all kind of new. What range can I hit this thing? Move towards my ship. There we go. Transorbital accelerator. Saturn. That's a beauty though. Look at that. Yeah, the devs definitely spared no expense in making this game look gorgeous. Alright. Engines to full. Terran. Flight school. Saber. He is only 19 kilometers off. Hmm. So, has anyone else here ever played into the X3 series? Or the newest one, I think, is X4? Not too sure which. Now, one thing I was interested in was the the belief that eventually they will have the money to buy your own upgraded ships, your own stations, choosing trade convoys, economic routes, things like that. And I'm actually really curious how that's going to go. All right. 11 kilometers off, 10.6, 10.3... Also a little worried, the music in the other game, or when we were playing as the other pilot, was much more, very more upbeat, a lot more prevalent. This has that sort of quiet, moody, dark kind of feel just running in the background. Six point five, six point three, six point two, one. All right, he's maybe coming back towards us. All right, if anything, it falls true to form. This means we'll be firing a missile next. Yeah, again, I apologize for the kind of goofy controls on my part. We'll, uh, we'll hook up the Sidewinder and the, um, the Xbox controller if that doesn't work for next time. But uh, let's blow something up. I've ejected another crate close by. You can use missiles too. Target a crate, select a missile, and launch. Good, you've got it. Oh shit, Look that was a huge crate. missile. If you and it's hit, still your going. Shields will reduce. Once your shield energy is depleted, well, it's not hit That's your good. hull will start to take damage. Shields That's all I need, middle of a tutorial, and just... The hell you doing firing on civvies? I didn't Is there some realize. weapons which are designed to bypass shields, lower shields, or disrupt systems? Mission well complete. done. I think you have the basics. You will pick up the rest as you go. Probably not. Terran Scimitar. Okay, that's a cool name for a ship. The Scimitar Heavy Fighter is the mainstay of Earth's tactical defense capability. This multi-role ship gives the USC an enviable degree of flexibility in mission planning. Hmm. Alright, let's slow it down a little bit. You have something to report. Reporting for patrol duty. Right. Let's move out. Okay, just follow you.
All right, so we're forming up with a flight group. What are you flying? Terran Saber. All right, so they're in the same Teron, ships we are. Saber. Terran Scimitar. Well, that makes sense. A heavier fighter leading two lighter ones. Hey, bud, where are we going? Sir, I'm tracking an unusual echo here on the grav. A faint line moving through the sector, coming in from the outer solar system, apparently. Nothing on my screen, pilot. That's probably a micrometeoroid. Sometimes one will enter the transit accelerator and shoot across the populated area. They do register on the grav sometimes, if they're heavy enough. All right, so are we going to... Now it's on my grab as well, sir. Go blow it up. Two of them. Ah, I see them now. Five of them. They must have disintegrated during transit, perhaps. Attention, all pilots. Terraformer attack reported in Neptune orbit. No AGI ships must be allowed to survive this incursion. Proceed to Neptune immediately. What? Terraformer? It's been over 20 years since. You held the captain, people. Break all bets at course for Neptune. Follow my lead. Execute. Uh, okay. So. Transorbital accelerator. Whoa! Neptune. Don't wanna follow. Ooh, okay. I totally just sideswiped my flight leader. Uh, sorry, boss. We'll get in the hang of this. I'm five minutes out of flight school. And you've entrusted me with a missile loadout and firearms. Perfect. On the one hand, I'm tempted to fly away from the flight group and just kind of burn for the, for the gate. But I don't really know how big of a fight we're going to get into, so let's stick together, just in case. Yep, congratulations, Raffle. You survived with a big 3-0. Three decades of life. <laughs> They're just the new 20. Eh, they're not wrong. Hmm. I get the feeling this game can be very... Relaxing, very slow paced when not in direct conflict. Sort of something you'd normally wouldn't. Oh well, maybe we could. Raffle, do you know if this thing has a, um, like a combat simulator or something like that? This is where he goes. You're in it. See, how far off is that? This kind of tracks me up. There's an attack going. Guys, should we go a little faster? I mean, we're only, you know... We're clocking at 100, and we can do double that. Oh, well. Uh, F1. Yeah, it's a little bit more cinematic. Okay, no? Yes? Alright, no. Okay, back in control. There we go. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna sit around and wait for these guys. Uh, people are at risk. Terran lives are in the balance. Full open. Let's go. We've gone from just tramping along at 100 meters a second to 242 meters a second in our saber. Selfies, use your time compression. All right. Well, you, you're gonna have to tell me about that one, bud, because. Tutorial didn't say anything about a time compression device. You should have a SATA drive. Um. Eject? No. Uh, hmm. 
Guido to five. What's this? I just no. It's a little additional monitor. Oh, okay. Turn those off. There, off. There we go. Okay, cool. Well, get that out of there. Uh, hmm. I don't have any wingmen. I'm operating independent. J? I think it's J. All right, let's press J. See what happens. Holy shit! All right, yeah, that works. Hmm. Uh, fly through? Oh, hell no. I'll do it myself. Thank you. Do I just fly through it, or... Do I have to tell it? Well, we're about to find out. Oh, cool, you do. Alright, that is fantastic. Entering system, Neptune. There's a hostile. Xenon N. 17 meters out, let's... Whoa, whoa, I didn't touch it. Oh, it cuts in. Alright. Let's maximize our time here. Full speed and see to drive. No orbital defense station. Uh what the crap? Okay. Ah Xenon N. Distance nineteen. All right, I'm not allowed to move or touch Spectre anything. Spectre missile. Things. That is a big ship off on our left. All right. Xenon N. You know, Spectre I get the distinct missile. feeling that we're really not needed right now. Xenon N. But we'll get stuck in all the same. There we go. Target is now in firing range. Okay. I can get behind that. Alright, that's a good shot. Let's slow down, we're coasting a little too far here. The Terran people thank you for your help in eliminating this threat. You are being promoted. <laughs> You've killed exactly one pirate. You're being promoted, son. Uh, Xenon N. Okay. I mean, if that's all it takes to get promoted, I'm I'm behind it. Uh, ah. A little faster. No water purification plant. M Alpha. Eh? Xenon N. Xenon N. What ATF is that? ATF military skinier. The Skinner. That's a cool name for a ship. Xenon N. All right, you're my target. Everyone else is leaving everyone else alone, so you're mine. Or I could just, you know, get there late. And... Target is now in firing. All right, let's do this. Xenon oh, now that looks N. like a larger ship to fight. Range closing in at eight. Yeah, Raffle, this uh, SATA drive is actually a godsend. Thank you. Target is firing. No. 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 Uh, okay, here we go. So that is a, a really cool looking missile swarm. Xenon N, you have gained recognition. Xenon N, you are being promoted. All right, come on, let's go faster. Xenon Slow. N. All right, tracking targets. We're getting a hit. Oh. 
Holy shit. All right. Someone's having a little too much fun with missiles. That's not okay. ATF military Scania. Yeah, let's not piss off the giant missile boat, shall we? Look at all that ordnance. Alright, so what are they shooting at? Just filling the void with that's the target. There we go. Yeah, this is something of a fluster cluck. You are talking to the automated. No, I'm not. Do you read? The AGI seem to be using some sort of jump beacon to anchor their jump drives in our sector. Scan and destroy. Copy that. People, look out for the beacon. Oh, I actually got. Whoa! Whoa! I got knocked out. Game over. Wow, all right, um, well, that's screenshot worthy. We lasted all of 20 minutes in a giant, sprawling dogfight where our worst enemy was our own side, spamming the shit out of missiles. <laughs> Very well, pilot, you serve the UEE, or, or, sorry, Terran Republic? The Terran Empire. Very well. Ah, there we go. We can skip the sad violin piano music. Uh, well, that's the thing, Raffle. I engaged what looked like fighter craft to me. All of them looked like fighter craft. And the strange thing is, as I was lining up on that last target, I wasn't taking fire from them. All of a sudden, I just exploded from a missile volley that came up from behind me. I really, really don't think we're going to be able to get this. Uh, otherwise, it seems like the best thing to do is to fly as a missile boat rather than a little dinky blaster. I don't know. We'll have to try that again next time. Um, because that didn't last more than, I think, 20 minutes. Uh, what time is it? I don't know. Chat, do we try and do another one of those? Or... Or do we call it for the night and we pick it up again tomorrow? Because I am curious to see what we can do. But at the same time... Man, the fine-tuning of movement by holding down the left mouse button is really throwing me off. But we should be able to figure it out. Also, stay clear of missile swarms because that is one real quick way to die. Unless you're the one shooting them, in which case, good luck. <laughs> Go to sleep. Do it. Uh, well, that's the thing with with trying to get work and jobs in. I've been making the mistake of going to sleep around this time and then waking up at 5, 6 in the morning, going to work, coming back, and by the time I get to this hour, I'm pretty much toast. We would have been on sooner. Uh, however, had to, again, pester Raffle for tech support. Being the kind guy that he is, he actually levered himself up and onto the computer to unbork the situation. So, yeah, this is an interesting game, and I really look forward to coming back to it tomorrow. That was X3 Terran Conflict, two tutorials, twice the fun and yeah time compression is amazing uh, I was gonna say Raffle you said you were toast <laughs> Sun give get breakfast man or at your time zone grab dinner if needs be <laughs> borrow none of that yeah, I 
I really do think this game has a lot of potential, a lot of fun to be had, and... Oh, right, like I was saying before I started chuckling at Sungive. Time compression is key, because I was going to tell people, like, hey, listen, if we can't, um... If we cannot... What was I going to say? Right, if we cannot fast travel or do micro warp jumps to get to a location, there is absolutely no reason to have this streamed, because the vastness of space and everyone having to sit there and go, Oh, uh, Zell, so what you doing? I'm just flying 200 kilometers to this thing. People are going to go, Wow, so what are you going to do? I'm going to fly in a straight line for 200 kilometers. That it? Yeah, that's probably going to be it. Yeah, I definitely would not have that as a thing. That, that is not the kind of entertainment we have here. <laughs> no fast travel, only seta. Yeah, I know, and I'm fine with seta. I really am. I keep wanting to say SATA drive, which is hilarious. Sometimes you buy a ship without a SATA drive. <laughs> or only a 2x, and you shoot yourself. <laughs> okay. Alright. First of all, what kind of an asshole merchant sells a ship to someone without a SATA drive? And two, why on Earth? Or Neptune this case, would you only be given a 2x? That is ridiculous. I'd be going for at least what this little starter ship's got, which went up to four, no, 300% power. Yeah, I, I would probably shoot myself, not even with a pistol, but the little welder you have to repair the ship, because damn. <laughs> there's a, wait, oh, there's definitely a hotkey to turn on permanent mouse aiming. That is something we're gonna have to do tomorrow, Raffle. Regardless of the type of drive the ship has, I'll find a way to clip into the wall or out of the ship and die. Oh, Roth, or Borrowed, you missed it earlier. We actually did the, uh, we tried out the ejection system, and it's just you, a guy, opening the lid of the cockpit, stepping out, and you have an arc welder. That's it. And you can clip into, technically, through it. I, I came in a little hot when I was trying to get back into the ship, and my character went through the hull, got a good look around before the game went, hey, you're not supposed to be here, and knocked me right back out. So that was, that was funny as hell too. I, I really am loving this game, and it, it's huge. So like, like me, Star Citizen. Oh, uh, Bard, we're, my computer can't handle streaming Star Citizen, otherwise I would be happy to show everyone the silliness that is that game. Also, fun fact, the SATA drive can get damaged in combat. Oh, crap, Brothel. All right, I'm going to save that fun for tomorrow, because that sounds like hell. Also, hopefully we'll figure out why the introduction wouldn't play, because I think that would give us a lot of context as to what's going on. But on the other hand, they still, they still will not tell me the difference between a human and an argon. Human? No, sorry, argon. Argon. More argon. A boron, clearly easy to tell, but, uh... The question remains, why do we have so many argons in one Terran? And second of all, what the hell is an argon? They look like humans, aside from this really cool goth person. Uh, human-looking, human-looking... Human-looking? I guess it's just from the planet they call home, but they are still human-type. Okay, so real quick, Ar oh, thank you, lore master. Expand. Argons are from Sol. Terrans are not. All right, how how does that work? Earth, Terra is in the Sol system. It's complicated, sorta. Yeah. That does sound kind of complicated, actually. We'll, we'll save that. We'll save the lore story for tomorrow because everyone's going to get sick of staring at a menu, I'm sure. Uh, tomorrow, we'll have lore talk with Raffle Lobster here, and then we'll delve back into the Terran Defender and hope I don't get my ass murked by my own side. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you very much for tuning in for this, albeit brief, version of Late Night Video with me, your host, Selfus. Uh, so, everyone in the chat, I hope you have a good night, or good morning, depending upon your time zone. Sun gift, get that toast, get that breakfast, and uh, stay safe out there, especially with, uh, well, everything that's going on in the world. Social distancing and all that. 